Hey there again folks, welcome back to my let's play of Ever 17, The Out of Infinity. And uh, last time, for some strange reason, Coco was calling Takshi Daddy. I have no clue why. That is right, right? It's been a couple days, but I'm pretty sure I'm remembering that right. And it's a flashback, and they're going to tell why she's calling him Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> As she was saying this, Coco shook my body hard, pried open my eyelids, and poured salt water into my eyes. And even shoved hydrogen peroxide up my nose. How innocent. Very, very, very flat. Giving in to her dogged persistence, if dogged is really the proper word for it, I reluctantly decided to keep her company. <sighs> As I stumbled around blind because of not being able to see, Coco was still growling at me. She was just being outrageous. Coco chomped down on my arm. Ah! Can't believe you actually bit me. She learns a lot from people. Yeah, okay, that was supposed to be a, uh... Okay. You all know that my memory is horrible, so I was just making sure that I didn't miss something. Uh, so apparently it was a flashback, and then... Or maybe it wasn't a flashback. Maybe he was just closing his eyes and remembering 30 minutes earlier. Is when this happened, and don't tell the audience anything about it. Maybe that's what happened. I forcibly pried her face off of my arm. There are teeth marks on my arm, and the area started turning purplish red. Wow, she is brutal in it right now. Coco put, Coco put, covered her. Coco covered her mouth with her fist and giggled triumphantly. How on earth do you want to call me daddy anyway? You're telling me after you trapped me into this that a 20 year old guy like me seems like the daddy type. You're telling me I look old? You just thought I did somehow, huh? Well then, are you trying to say that your dad and I are alike? She's a very confused girl. She knows how to compliment people, that's for sure. I should have been yelling at her by then, but I just couldn't bring myself to get angry with it. Despite the biting and the blinding and the nose blinding. <laughs> what does it mean to make somebody not be able to smell anymore? You know, you, somebody can blind you, although they can't really delf you. But there's a word for that. Is there no? Is there? Is there a word meaning you can't smell? Am I just failing to think of it? This is irrelevant to the scene, so I should just move on, which I will. Cause all the while, Coco was dancing around like crazy, shaking her hips and waving her arms in front of me. I guess you could say that I was too distracted to be angry with her. By the way, you said your dad is on a business trail right now, didn't you? Um. Where did you go? Well, yeah, that's your dad down below. That, but yeah, that answers that question. Question answered. Thank you, Ever Seventeen. A research laboratory under the ocean. I don't know why, but for some reason it didn't surprise me. 
As a matter of fact, it seemed perfectly logical to me. It felt as if I've already known about it. Like you've already died there once. Yeah, once, right? Yeah. He left IBL and then died. And then he left IBL again and died. Yeah. He died with with Sugumi escaping from IBL. Then he ran, he went up top from IBL to uh, be with Sora. Yeah, yeah. It was just a feeling, but then you must be worried, right? I mean, about your dad. That's Coco. Well, um, I mean... What? How do you know that? Sarah mentioned about somebody. No, it was it was Coco who mentioned it first, right from the planet uh, Kui Kui, something like that. Kui 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 Kui, something like that. Uh, wait. Actually, Sarah was joked in the la in an episode recently about uh, the 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 picture being somebody from the sun didn't she? yeah that is right hmm there's definitely a lot there, there's definitely got to be a strong connection between Sarah and Coco Maybe this whole situation is, uh... Maybe this whole situation is a crazy... Here's a crazy theory for you. And this entire situation is set up by the people of the Kiki and the, uh... And the, uh... Sun people. They've been at war with each other for centuries, but they've got Sarah and Coco in here together. They're going to try to make peace. Takshi and the kid, they're, they're like the ambis... Amb what? Ambassadors of Peace. And at the end of this, I'll be friends and the war's over. That's the plot of this. I'm, I feel sure of it now. Oh, I see. Wow, that's, that's great. I couldn't find anything else to say. Powerful microwaves that Coco produced had shaken my brain and fried it. My consciousness started becoming hazy as if I had been in bed for three days with a high fever. Well, that's kind of hard to do that right now. 
の
Sometimes you even trip and fall like a cute newborn, newborn baby chick to compete to see who looks the most like a chick. The sounds used basically consist of three sounds, P, Go, and M. Mm. As you get better, you can use imaginative sounds and even express yourself with various little chickadee get gestures. Since I'm only a beginner, I can only use P, Go, and M mm so far. Can't wait to keep playing this game and level up my stats to where I can get these new words and syllables. Hopefully it's not one of them uh, microtransaction games where you have to spend five dollars to get the in the uh, the the TV sound. But um, I'm pretty sure if I played this enough, I would make a f f sound on my own. But I'm working hard to become a full-fledged chick. Uh, and I, no, I mean a full-fledged chicken like mom and dad. I am learning from an excellent teacher. Oh, I don't know why, but I'm shedding tears. Is it just me or would this be a really bad time for Sugumi to just walk in and see this happening? And then she'd walk right out and never talk to with him again, ever. Might be a bad time for anybody to walk in on this. You would never let them live it down. Yeah, uh, Sugumi's still in the still in the bed though, uh, in the uh, hospital. Though. So he, she, he's okay with her. My teacher is encouraging me. I'm alright, I'm fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need to be committed. My teacher wags her hips left and right, right as she walks. Sometimes she even flips her hips up in the air. She is the epitome of chickness. Father, mother, my teacher is the best chick mimic in Japan. No in the world. Oh, but teacher, you didn't have... <laughs> I hope he's being sarcastic. You didn't have to take a dump in the middle of the floor. Yeah. Oh crap, yeah. is she really? Is she really? Did she really crap in the floor? She didn't, right? That would be. They need some flooding to flush out the uh, flush out the room. Teacher is angry with me. It's because I spoke the human language. P O Y O Y O N is. Oh, that meant I'm sorry in chick language. So that might mean. I won't speak of poop, of you pooping anymore in the chick language. Pee yawn, pee yawn. Must be very hard for you two to imagine your own son playing chicks when they're two feet under the ocean. Are you? I suppose you probably don't even believe that I'm doing this in the first place. But I suppose I can't blame you. I would never dream that I would be doing. I would be in this situation up until three days ago. How interesting life is. I would have imagined it five minutes ago. How sad we humans are. Oh, there I go crying again. The tears. I think before the ink on the paper starts to run, I will put down the pen. Oh, dear father and mother, please take care of yourself. P.O. 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 That was the end of our game of chicks. Thank goodness. I probably needn't mention it, but Coco won the game. Coco shouted with happiness and flashed a triumphant smile. <laughs> anyway, thankfully it was over. I exhaled a long sigh of relief. Are you happy now? Let's get some sleep now. Coco and I started to walk. Coco walked holding my hand. Her hand was so very small. Daddy, huh? I thought to myself. Coco wanted so bad to call me daddy. But it seemed that she had forgotten all about it. I was relieved. But at the same time, I felt a bit lonely. Daddy, huh? I repeated the words to myself again. I had mixed feelings. 
Coco and I went to the infirmary hand in hand. Oh, it was Coco's turn to use the bed in the infirmary tonight. We were outside of the door. For some reason, you were standing there. You had a grin on her face. Of course, the one who was embarrassed was me. Burning hot blood surged up from the pit of my stomach to my head. All of a sudden, my face felt like it was engulfed in flames. I, I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Right, Coco? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, it her too quick. Not another game. You <laughs> think about another game. <laughs> you walked away the sweat that had appeared on her forehead with the back of her hand. Infirmary gesturing like a chick. You and I were left standing there. We stared at each other. Well, you see, she has fun, okay? Too bad my PDA don't work uh, with the internet and everything to where I can't, with the camera, so I can't videotape this and put this on YouTube. Probably get a few views, I'm sure. I'm serious. Me either. You was frowning. Her face started softening as I watched. She was trying hard not to laugh by pressing her hand on her mouth. She's probably recalling my antics from earlier. I had a bad feeling. Hey you, I've got a favor to ask. Can you just forget what you saw in that? Well, I suppose, then you don't have to forget it, but would you at least keep it a secret from Scooby, Sora, and the kid? What do you mean, for a while? What do you know? She wanted to use it to blackmail me. You patted me on the shoulder and walked away. I had no idea what she would ask of me, but I knew she had, had me where she wanted me. I've eaten the five people that, were, that could have seen us. She was the worst. Uh, if, you, if it was the kid that saw it, you could ask him to forget it. Oh, oh crap. Oops, I didn't mean to click it. Ah, if you, it was a kid who actually saw it, he, he could, he could very responsibly forget it. Uh, not on purpose, but okay, nothing, nothing major. It was dark inside the room, and I could barely see anything. Still, I had heard the breathing of three sleeping people. Although I couldn't see any of them, I could tell who was sleeping where. Scummy, who was injured, was sleeping on the bed at the end of the room. The kid was sleeping on the examination table. Coco was using the bed in the middle, which meant I would be sleeping in the decompression chamber just under the infirmary. About 90 minutes earlier, I had actually been sleeping there before Coco shoved hydrogen peroxide up my nose. 
You, it seemed, had lined up some chairs in the conference room and going to sleep on them. Okay, then, I added toward a lift in the back of the room. I stopped briefly to check in on Coco. I went up to the bed in the middle of the room. Although she had been so excited a little while earlier, Coco seemed to be in a deep sleep already. I suppose she's exhausted from all that playing. Coco rolled over and scratched her cheek with her fingers. Her blanket had slightly fallen off of her. Fixing her covers, I touched her hair gently. Coco mumbled softly in her sleep. I didn't know which dad she was referring to, but I couldn't help smiling. Papa, Papa, what? So, are are they triplets? Am I? Was I not in? Was I? Was I right about that? Hmm. I don't know. I guess I have to find out. Onita. She mentioned her brother. I mean, she mentioned the brother before, so it would make sense. Onita. And ironic, 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 irony. What irony? <laughs> I'll give them one thing. They they make good cuts here, going from her saying brother and then bro, and then Sarah saying brother, which I'm guessing is heavy hints. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just have to keep playing, huh? What is it, Sarah? It had been over twelve hours since Sarah started calling me brother. The swelling of Sarah's eyelids had just started to fade, but her eyes were still watered. About 12 hours ago, Sora had told us the truth. Ever since seeing the hologram in the well room, I had kind of sensed it. Sarah was my sister. Maybe I had already known it, known it when I saved Sarah from the elevator. Maybe I had just pretended not to realize when in fact I really had. It was strange, but I didn't quite understand the details of, of my own mental state. Because it almost felt like that the person who had caused me, who had caused me to pretend that was a me, that wasn't really me. If that made sense, it didn't. I knew I had to find out the truth from the moment I'd seen the pendant in the well room, especially after I noticed it had a missing piece. I could tell Sarah felt the same way. I didn't know from exactly what point she started wondering if I was her brother. Looking back on it, there were many times she might have hinted at it. But all those moments had seemed to me like she was half joking. The moment that everything came together was when I saw the image in the hologram. Because I'd been able to see something that nobody else could. But still, both Sarah and I weren't, weren't certain when we had been in the well room. We, ne we needed definite proof. That's why we went to visit Sora, even though it was late at night. Because you know Sora, she's a very deep sleeper. She hates being woken up in the middle of the night. To have her surgically removed the fragment from my thumb, since Sora wasn't able to perform the actual operation, so we decided to wake up you. Probably was a bit pissed. At first, you had no idea what we were talking about, but as soon as she understood the situation, she willingly agreed to help. As we expected, the piece removed from my thumb had matched the missing part in the pendant exactly. What's more, when we exposed the piece of infrared light, an image of the same man in the pendant came up. According to Sora, unlike a regular picture, a hologram shows the whole image in a, in a part. With a picture, it would be impossible to see the whole picture with just one piece of it. With a hologram, it is possible to generate the whole image even from a tiny piece. That is one of the special properties of a hologram. Now let's, let me explain a little bit about the infravision. Next time. <laughs> Alright. 
yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Gonna find out more about this whole situation. It seemed like uh, things are moving faster this time around. So maybe being ahead of the curve. That's that might be, a, that might be an actual proper. That might actually be a proper way to describe this. Being ahead of the curve. They might get, you know, this might be how they fix it, you know. Whatever this is. I still don't know. It's amazing. Uh, last time I checked, the playlist was over 50 hours. It's probably well over 50 hours by now. But I still don't know what's, what the real cause of this game is. But, uh, but anyway. Um, during the next week or so, hopefully I will really get back up to normal uh, if I can pull myself away from Skyrim and PvP and Minecraft I think I can I have uh, work is going from one kind of extreme to the other bit of extreme so next week I should get everything back to normal so uh, probably every day now hopefully but anyway after that after that what uh, Anyway, hopefully, folks enjoyed. Uh, I'm still enjoying this. This is, as I've said, it's. I'm, I'm liking that it gives you piece by piece information about the game. And then, hopefully, it'll all make sense to me at the end. I'll be pissed off if I don't, but it's slowly getting there. So, I do hope you folks enjoyed. As I've said, it, how many times have I said it? Four times. Yeah. I shall see you the next one. Very well, folks.